Get ready to match the stars. Donald Ross, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Isabel Sanford, Richard Dawson, and Betty White. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Ryder. Thank you, Johnny Olsen. Now what? 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 What's so funny? What did I miss? I've been. No, I told her that I had a great opening joke, <laughs> <laughs> and it was deadly silence. Oh, so he's, <laughs> he's gonna work alone. <laughs> he said he's gonna what? Work alone. You want to try it again? We'll give you another no, chance. See, the joke is as you go. Hark! What was that? I said, I don't hear anything. The other guy said, I know it's been like that all day. <laughs> What? Do you remember about the camel and the needle and the whole thing that I did once? <laughs> and it didn't Same work. Thing. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> now let's say hello to our two players, Beth Marie and Richard Prince. <laughs> How are you? This lady has won $350, right? And she's a 21-year-old uh, uh, <laughs> graduate story. student. You go to school around in this area Pepperdine somewhere? Pepperdine Malibu. Pepperdine Malibu. And you're an aspiring actress? Yes. And have you been trained as an actress? I've been studying for about four years. Oh, you have? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you're a very pretty girl, and you ought to have some degree of success in that. She's being challenged by Richard Prince. Three. We're in the middle of round two, Richard. And uh, you've had both of your questions. You've matched two of our celebrities. At this moment, she has one. But when we come back from this commercial, she'll have her question. All she has to do is match one to tie, two to win. Tune in in one minute and five seconds and see how this turns out. Give me the wall. Yes. Oh, hello there. How are you? We've been waiting for you, haven't we? Haven't yes. we? I'm all mixed up here. Now, that? Beth, if you're ready, <laughs> there's your question. This is the last question in this game, unless it ends up in a tie. Jack said... Wait a minute. <laughs> there is one person here who does not write. And that's you. This very rarely that's happens. Yeah. So I feel I would like to make a public right. announcement okay. about... Beth does not play because she matched in the first round. Yeah! Yes, because today. of her attitude, yes. Right. Sometimes she doesn't play when she writes on the card. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this fellow Jack said, I think that guy standing on the window ledge just wants attention. When the crowd gathered, he didn't jump. Instead, he dropped his blank. <laughs> okay, what else? Now, who is answering this? I must know that. Everybody except Brett. No, oh, yeah, Beth plays there. Uh -huh. okay. Jackson, I think that guy standing in the window ledge just wants attention. When the crowd gathered, he didn't jump. Instead, he dropped his blame. Now, as soon as Charles is ready, we'll be on our way. He's drawing a picture. Oh, he is. Oh, we well, don't know what it is. It's crystallized in his mind, and we can press on. Does Beth Marie need a lift to school in the morning? Does Beth Marie need a lift to school in the morning? Now, there'd be none of that until after... Until after. <laughs> none of that now in front of me. Remember, I'm an older man. Uh, Jack said, I think that guy standing on the window ledge just wants attention. When the crowd gathered, he didn't jump. Instead, he dropped his... Pants. Pants. These people are yeeing a flasher. <laughs> or flashing a yeer, as this case may be. What do you what say? A trashy group. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Beth Marie. Beth Marie, right. Would you trade a lift uh, for, a tra uh, for a pair of pants? <laughs> hmm? Well, you got one. There's one for Beth. <laughs> yeah, give her the pants. So you don't play. And Charles, it's up to you. She's looking for a pair of pants. The suit comes with two pairs. So that means she wins the game. What the rest of you have? Now you can hang around there for a moment or so. Richard, it was a pleasure meeting you. You know, you look a little too young to be in retirement. 
And we, I mean, you have no gray hairs or anything like that. We've got some gifts for you, which we hope you will enjoy. Thank you. And we wish you the best of luck. Richard Prince, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, Richard. Now, yes, you've done this before. You know how it goes, so we'll just go on and see how much more money you could win. You could win over $5,000 here. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Latin blank. Now, the answer that oh, bunch gave oh. most frequently is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the answer they gave second most frequently, you get $250, and then the third gets you $100. Now, three of our celebrities are permitted to suggest some answers here to you, and you should try and think of some, too. Charles? Uh, my new show on uh, CBS, which begins January 12th at 8.30, Latin Lover. <laughs> Richard, Latin... Pardon? Latin blank is what we're that's after Very here. good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> no, that's as Just far as second. we can go with it. Latin blank. Last. Oh. Just a second. Yeah. I'll do this. <laughs> Latin quarter. Latin quarter. Oh. Okay, right. that's two. Correct. Brett, have you got one? I know third is a tough position. Latin... Latin half dollar. Latin half... I love it. Latin half dollar. <laughs> Latin... <laughs> He's you always are. such well, a help. Well, Latin quarter work, maybe. <laughs> Latin half right. dollar might work, too. Uh, okay. Now, this is number three, but it's going to be the best one. Now, prepare yourselves for her rock. Latin you. class. What a good dead language. Latin class. Okay, there they are. Latin class, Latin lover, and Latin quarter. Do any of those appeal to you? Latin lover. <laughs> Latin lover appeals to you? She says she likes Latin lovers. I could let my sideburns grow and grow a little tricky mustache here and, and speak with an accent. Okay. Latin lover is what she wants. Here, let's find her a Latin lover, shall we? Latin lover, are you hiding under the $100 response? No. Uh, Latin quarter is there, though. Boy, is that gone up. Yes, it is. <laughs> $100. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's find out if we got a Latin lover under the $250 number. Latin America. Latin America is a very good one. I was a little late. I'm yeah. a slow thinker. You're five minutes late. All right, last chance, you rascal Latin lover. Let's find out if you're hiding under the $500 number. Yeah. Yes, She can't play from there. No, it's not allowed because she could see. No, because I'm the star of the show. Get your own show, Donald. That's the way it goes. Okay. Now listen, you've just picked up an additional five hundred dollars. That means at this moment, the cash accrued to your account is nine hundred and fifty dollars. Now you're gonna play for ten times that amount, or five thousand. To collect that amount of money, you've got to match one celebrity exactly. Richard. Okay, Richard. Get ready. Okay, I guess you can stand on the adhesive tape if you want. And uh, okay. And here we go. This one's worth five thousand dollars, and it goes like this. Bald blank. That's B A L D. Bald blank. Finished. Okay, Beth, here we go again. It's up to you to give us an answer which you think will match Richard's. Now, remember, the idea is for you to get your ESP going over to him. Bald blank. Eagle. Bald eagle. Wait a minute. What, you, what are you saying? I was going to say that or head. Either bald, bald head. eagle or bald head. What made you say bald eagle? I don't know. I thought of bald head first, but then bald eagle sounded... <laughs> sounded bald better. Eagle. Okay, well, they're both good answers. Sounds and I'm sure mean. Richard must have one of them, and I hope he's got the one you've got. I never hesitated. That's exactly what you oh, had I first. Oh, I was going to go with my first thing. I oh, you later, didn't do that. You know, she later said, I said oh, eagle, but I always go on that. Oh, that was that the first thing you thought of? Yes. Was it? Yes, yeah. bald head, and then I... 
Yeah, this is a game where you have to trust your first instinct here, and it usually works, not always, but most of the time. That's Donald, the rule, you have all legal? Yeah. Trust your first instinct, but not the MC, isn't that? I mean, that's, that's, that's it. in the That's bylaws. it, that's where it goes. Yes. Okay, Beth oh, Marie, you've Beth. got your 9.50, and you're going to meet another player in a moment or so after we do a little business with America. What? <laughs> here we go. Are you ready to welcome another player? Yeah. Would you all uh, give a, a good, brisk round of applause to Carol Bittick? Let's find out a little bit about Carol, shall we? I'm a happy housewife. I'm married to an officer in the United States Marine Corps, stationed at Cherry Point, North Carolina, and I have three children, and I'm thrilled to be here. We're thrilled to have you, Carol. Are you vacationing on the West Coast? No, I came out here just for this, just for you guys. Okay. Well, we're honored, aren't Can we I honored? Can I drive her to yeah. class in the morning? What's that? Can I drive her to class no, in the morning? you can't drive her to class in the morning there. All oh. right, Carol, we'll begin. We'll begin. Begin. Air again, begin. Ron. Bong, bong. Oh, yes, Carol. A or B? A. A it is. Good luck to both ladies. Here we go. <coughs> Nanook said. Ah. That is. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. One of these cold hearted questions. Yeah. Nanook said that Eskimo politician will do anything to get a vote. Yesterday, he rubbed noses with my blank. <laughs> Nanook said that Eskimo politician. We'll do anything to get a vote. Yesterday, he rubbed noses with my blank. You know what I have to say to that? Anything that gets you through the night. Right. <laughs> you got the idea. How does that last vote with oh, anything to get... Yesterday, he rubbed noses with my... That's the same man. Have you got the idea now? Why, hon? <laughs> Dear me. Is it like what we do in Encino in the motel or anything like that, dear? Get on with it. <laughs> Ladies and oh, gentlemen. Oh, you're just embarrassed because no, Alan just... might be watching. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is club soda. That is. Hard. From Russia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready. Ready. I got it. Finally. Now we're coming over here to Carol Biddick and ask her. Nanook said, you know who Nanook is? Oh, well, you watch his program. Certainly you do. That Eskimo politician will do anything to get a vote. Yesterday, he rubbed noses with my... Wife. 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 Oh. She said wife. That kind of... I'm well, we just aback lost the that. Eskimo vote. <laughs> yes. you're, you're taken aback I'm by I'm taken it. aback by that. I'm, I, I, I consider it an affront. Really? Yes. Well, I suppose. Well, anyway. So we've covered the front and the back of this question. All right. On the other hand, wrong bottom. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand that, but Brett, you're up. You know, who's he married to? Patty this Deutsch? One, Patty Deutsch. I feel sorry for her. <laughs> I said he rubbed noses with my dog sled. With a dog sled? You mean the sled dog? Oh! You can't rub noses with a sled. <laughs> You mean the sled dog? Darn it! Still doesn't match, no matter how you the say expression. it. What? Drunk again? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Charles? I say people with bad eyes shouldn't try to copy sled dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that Eskimo politician will do anything to get a vote. Yesterday, he rubbed noses with my wife. 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 <laughs> Richard? We feed. We feed. Keep it low. Bottom row is the best. The bottom row is the best so far, yes. Almost the best. <laughs> I mean, you know how far away and up north and the long night. You know oh, those yeah. long, oh, nights. long nights. Long nights. This, long may, long nights. this yeah. may be a match with my walrus. Walrus! <laughs> Mary Married to a walrus, was he? Yeah, the bottom row is the best. <laughs> Part of it. Two out of three ain't bad. Okay, that's two for you, and now, Beth, <laughs> here's your first to. rounder. Hey, listen to this, folks. Why? Contrary to popular belief, George Washington not only wore a beautiful, long, powdered wig, he also wore a blank. <laughs> George there it Washington is. not only... <laughs> contrary to popular belief... Well, if you're going to read oh. it, I, I give it to him to read it. Okay. Contrary to popular belief, George Washington not only wore a beautiful long powdered wig, he also wore a blank. Contrary, it says? Contrary, contrary to popular belief. It has nothing to do with it. Well, you know, most people didn't know this, is what oh, we're saying. 
most people didn't know that he not only wore a beautiful long powdered wig, he also wore a blank. Okay. <laughs> Keep your hands off me. He may be watching. Oh, I thought that was Richard. I'm sorry. <laughs> What do you see, Doctor? Never bother me when I'm in the lab. <laughs> I want to take a look. Let me look. Oh, those little rascals. What are they doing? <gasps> Don't you fool, that's Betty White's leg. <laughs> Listen, while we're uh, waiting for Brett, you're oh, doing I'm a all show through, with uh, I'm Bobby all Van. I'm just Quiet, here. I'm talking. Oh, quiet. You're doing a show with Bobby Van, right? Yes, the Fun Factory. And uh, what is that? An hour, half hour? It's a half hour, and it's on every day, and people should watch. And that's okay. enough of that. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Now, <laughs> okay, you ready? Contrary to popular belief, George Washington not only wore a beautiful long powdered wig, he also wore a pair of pantyhose. Pantyhose. What? 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 He also wore pantyhose. What's happened to Beth? You don't, you don't like that answer, pantyhose? No. Oh. Wasn't That's he right. the mother of our country? Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, if they're good enough for Joe Namath, why not? What do you say? You remember what Dickie said? What? Do it and say it again. He was the mother of our country? You got a dress. A dress. Okay. Pantyhose is what she's looking for. He wore I hope we have time a for this. very sweet flowered red skirt <laughs> with a white fluffy brow blouse like Betty White wears. He wore a beautiful long powdered wig and he also wore pantyhose, according to Beth. I wanted a masculine answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it, Chuck. So I chose <laughs> trust. <laughs> you watch it. In George, we trust. In George, we trust. Right. <laughs> right. That is George, we trust. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, George Washington not only wore a beautiful long powdered wig, he also wore pantyhose. Dress. A dress. Okay. I know at night he wore a yellow ribbon. Yeah. It looked very attractive. <laughs> What did you say? Dress. A dress. Yeah. Well, really, I don't understand. What do you, you understand think? that? I understand the question. Yeah. He not only wore a long, beautiful powdered wig, he also wore a hairpiece. A hairpiece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that is the no. weirdest. Answer. <laughs> you had the well, I would have. I wouldn't have gone as far as a dress. Oh, what would you have yeah. said? Well, a bra, a ruffle. <laughs> no, not a little ruffles and. Well, he did. He did. A girdle, yes. He did have hard. false teeth. Yes, he, really he did. Wouldn't. Right. I wouldn't Hair have piece said, isn't bad. I think yeah. dress was definitely So here we go. Contrary. Well, we're not going anywhere. Two to nothing to score at this moment, and a round one, round two coming up later, but now this. I thought dress was a lot of Today's consolation prize is our first, a true test waffle baker and grill. Snap in Teflon grids easily convert this waffle baker to a grill exclusively from two value hardware stores. And Foster Grant sunglasses with polarized mirror and gradient lenses. Foster Grant has everything. And from Amity, a ladies' three-piece ensemble featuring the Ultra French purse, bills easily removed from hidden compartments with the chain's purse, Amity. And a shopper's tote from Parsons Ammonia. Freshens every room, walls to windows, costs little, cleans a lot. Parsons, America's number one selling ammonia. Now remember, Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no blank. They sure had a lot of laughs. And you will, too, with Gene Rayburn when Max Game 76 continues in a minute. Here we go, round two. Now, Carol, A or B? I'm going to stick with A. A it is. And two people do not play. They don't. Isabel and Richard do not play. The rest of you, please. The passengers on the Titanic couldn't believe it. As soon as they struck the iceberg, the captain jumped onto the ice and started blanking. No, 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 wait a minute, sweetheart. Captain of the Atlantic. A little, a little uh, thing here. As soon as they struck the iceberg, the, the ice. captain jumped onto the ice and started blanking. Do it quickly because it's the last oh, okay. question we have time for. All right, all right. Couldn't believe it. As soon as they struck the iceberg. Well, get moving, Charles. We have places to go and stop today. Got it. Got it, baby. Good. Very good. Got it. Yeah. Terrific. Good. <laughs> Okay, no, you now. <laughs> Betty is ready, so we'll call on Carol. 
passengers on the Titanic couldn't believe it. As soon as they struck the iceberg, the captain jumped onto the ice and started blanking. After watching this group, they got to say tinkling. I know they're going to really? say that. Well, on ice? Really? Donald, what'd you say? Uh, close to tinkling. It's a form of the word whizzing. Whizzing. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's one. the same word. Brett, what have you got? I threw the good answer away. I thought he was just out there skating. His very good. Out. That's the answer. Charles? Skating. Skating is a very good answer. And Betty White? Well, he liked everything on the rocks. He started pouring. That may be a mess. Started pouring. No. Okay, so that's three for Carol. And uh, we're going to have to put you on ice, uh, so to speak, Beth. Because now we've got to do a little business with America. Here we go. Next time we get together, these are the bodies that will be on this stage. Ron Polillo. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley, Joanne Wally, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Fly. Oh, you were splendid. Gene Rayburn here. Join us next time for Match Game 76. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game 76. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of the CBS stations.